Welcome into Game Night Live Rewind, Dusty Lister and Dane Stewart, as always, presented by Hanneman Associates, brought to you by the Utah Army National Guard. We're outfitted by Black Clover, but our mental performance brought to you by RJ Performance Group. And uh, as we're talking about champions, Dane, you got to have mental performance. Yeah, you do, Dusty, and, and you have to approach it in the right mindset and be in control of your mind over the course of, of the contest. And there's no one who will help you get you uh, in better control of your mind and help elevate your mental performance in the Riley Jensen Performance Group, the official mental performance coaches of Weber State University, Utah State University, and Real Salt Lake. If uh, these ac athletic programs can trust them, you can too. And to schedule time with the Riley Jensen Performance Group, you can visit rjpg.net to get uh, your consultation booked. Well, sometimes you need mental performance and sometimes you just need a little extra oomph and you have to grab it from wherever you can because, uh, you know, the girl we're talking to next in Skyview, from Skyview um, certainly could take every video that I put my name on and my face to <laughs> and say, hey, uh, we're coming after you. And, uh, and that's certainly Hannah Radford uh, of the Skyview Bobcats because Skyview, Dane, uh, we both had picked Region 9 teams. Um, all I did was talk about Region 9. They were my Region 4 of the girls 4A uh, conversations every single week that we had. And uh, Skyview made the run and brought home the title. Yeah. Now, I mean, this may get a little too personal, and I'm I'm going to apologize to everybody except for Dusty. But it's kind of nice <laughs> because, uh, you know, Region 9 didn't win it. And then it just, like, dig it in a little bit more. Cash Valley did. So, hey, Bobcat Nation, really appreciate you coming through for an Aggie here who has to listen to – Dusty chirp a lot about non Cash Valley things, but uh, awesome to see the Cash Valley team show up in this tournament. You you talked about you know Skyview Logan playing for that championship, and you know the Bobcats this year, Dusty. Uh, you know they were kind of trying to get up to compete for a region championship in Region Eleven, but were just always a little bit behind pace. Kind of fell down early, got some really big wins late, and we had a chance to talk about Hannah about how that helped position Skyview for what would be a big run to a state championship. Here with 4A state champion, Hannah Radford of the Skyview Bobcats. First of all, Hannah, congratulations on uh, making Dane and I both wrong in our 4A predictions as you made it an all Cash Valley final. And I know you're aware of that because we've seen your activity on our, on our Instagram. And so uh, we do that maybe we gave you some extra oomph. Is that true? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anything we can do to help we're happy to so <laughs> well, Hannah walk us through what, what's it like to go through a magical run in the state tournament because you know guys like Dane and myself and we feel like you know the strongest teams I mean better but strongest you may come down from region nine um and as you guys get to that state tournament you make the run I mean you've got to run through that region nine uh, gauntlet you're kind of the the girls version of foray of the davis darts you know you got to make that run and go through those teams what was that like yeah it was awesome we definitely knew coming in we just had to work our hardest like we came in as a six seed and so we just knew that we every single game we just had to come out give it our all and just come out with so much energy i felt like that's what helped us the most is just our energy toward each game Hannah, you guys finished fourth in Region 11, but that region was so difficult. I mean, you think of the top teams in that, it felt like any given night. And, and in the back half of region play, you guys go and get back-to-back -back wins against Logan and against Ridgeline. How important was that for, for the team to just kind of help reinstill, hey, we, we may be in the middle of the pack here, but, but we can compete with these teams on any given night. What, was that, did that help set you and this team up for a postseason run? Oh, yeah, that was for sure huge. Like. Our region is so tough. Every game is just like a huge game. You have to come out with so much fight. And so we struggled like the first half of region, but the second half we were just like, we got this, you know. Each game's tough, but we just have to come out with so much more fight. And those wins against Logan and Ridgeline definitely helped us so much. They just gave us so much more confidence, I guess, coming into the state tournament. And we just knew that we could do it. You know, so you talk about coming in and getting it done. I mean, your side of the bracket, really difficult. Uh, you see Logan keep winning. Does that, I mean, I, and I know how important Logan rivalries are. So as you're like, you're watching Logan go like, well, hey, if they can win, we can win. It, it was that, <laughs> was that part of the thing or am I overstating that? No, yeah, that's, we definitely saw Logan keep winning and we're like, yeah, you know, like we got this. Logan's doing it. We can do it. And I mean, Logan's a great team. It was, it was like so fun to get to play them in the state championship. We, 
like some of those girls I've known for most of my life and played against them for so long. So it was just fun to get to see them again. I have to ask you though, before you got to see Logan for the third time, you guys had to deal with Desert Hills. And I think you might have held them to a season low. So, I mean, how big was that? And, and talk a little bit about that game and, and what you guys were able to do against the Thunder, a team that had such a great year this year. Yeah, Desert Hills is such a great team. Um, they played really well. And we just, I feel like we just came out with energy again. That was just big for us throughout the whole entire tournament. And especially playing as a team, we've worked on that all year long, just sticking together, having each other's backs having fun out on the court and I felt like that really helped us because Desert Hills is such a good team. It talked us about that final possession because you know they're down three and and it comes up some defense so walk us through that final play and and uh, you guys go a little Lehigh versus Tempe and get a block to to steal the win and send you to a state championship. Yeah for sure we just that last one of the game we're like ah oh, we just gotta have such good defense and just like giving a hundred percent is what we focused on is uh, when, when we came out of our timeout for that last possession is just giving 100% and just finishing the game off strong. What does it mean for you to come through this out of that region? Uh, you mentioned coming through a, a six seed. What, what does it mean for you guys to get the job done in a year where Dusty mentioned, you know, neither of us had you guys in that championship game. Neither of us had you winning it. What does it mean that this group was able to, to finish the job here in 2021? Oh, it feels so good. It's literally... A dream come true. I I can't describe it. It was it was amazing to come through and just with my teammates, you know, they're my best friends and so it was it was so awesome. It's the best feeling in the world. Does it add anybody anything sweeter that it happened to, that you beat Logan? I mean, I know I keep harping on that, but it's you know, the Cash Valley's its own little place. Does it make it better? Do you feel like you gotta go to a store inside of Logan wearing your Skyview gear and, and things like that? Yeah, it it felt just like region play. We were like, we've done this before, and it was just so awesome. It was it was a great team win and great team effort. While we're there, does it make it any sweeter that it also you came through Ridgeline? I mean, you guys were just knocking off your region teams round after round in this thing. Yeah, for sure. It, it felt like we were at region the whole state tournament, but it was awesome. Ridgeline's also a great team, and they, it was a tough win, so... Walk us through the final seconds because, you know, I can tell you from coaching, doesn't matter if it's baseball or whatever it is, those final seconds, it's like the most excruciating thing. Uh, walk us through those final moments and, and then the realization that, yeah, you guys are going to bring home the 4A state championship. Yeah, just, you know, the final moments of the game, again, we were just like, we just got to give it our all because, you know, every game could possibly be your last. And so we were just focusing on giving 100% on the court. And definitely when the final buzzer went off and we won, it was just amazing. Everyone was getting so pumped and storming the court. It's just the best feeling ever. Well, Hannah, first of all, congratulations. Uh, can't say enough uh, how much we appreciate your, your quick response and join us. And, and not only that, as we've noticed, as we made transition, when we watched our girls' videos get so many interactions, we noticed that you were doing that. So uh, we want to thank you for helping us gain some traction and what was going on in the girls' basketball scene. But uh, certainly the warmest congratulations to you on an outstanding season and a terrific run to the state championship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You know, you, you see the big smile and you see someone that your teammates can obviously gravitate toward. And, and Hannah, you know, she may not feel the box score, but in the state tournament run, she made two, the two of the biggest plays to help Skyview come home with the state championship. And, and, uh, and you just see that personality come through uh, in our interview. Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, she uh, she was our second leading scorer this year. So, I mean, Hannah certainly carried uh, her share of the load. Uh, but you look at this two-headed monster that was uh, Hellstern and, and Hannah Radford, and, you know, they both had their opportunities to contribute for this Skyview team. You look at that state championship game, and it was, it was Hannah that was the leading scorer in that one, 14 points. But it wasn't just offensively, Dusty. I mean, we mentioned in the interview, able to slow down Desert Hills, that is not an easy team to prevent scoring, and yet they did. Uh, and then they were able to do it uh, again in the state championship uh, to, you know, I don't want to say slow down Logan. Logan still had a really good contest in this one, but uh, the defense coming through to help them uh, get past the Grizzlies in this one. And so, you know, just a complete team effort. And, and you talk about, you know, state champions. We mentioned a little bit in some of our boys' videos this week about, uh, collective units and basketball team sport, how critical that is. 
and awesome to see uh, multiple players that are able to come through when their team needs them over the course of a state championship run, especially when they're the underdog in the uh, semis. Uh, well, actually, the quarters, the semis, and the championship, technically, having to be uh, the underdog in the last three rounds. It, it takes a team and a collective effort, and Hannah Radford uh, certainly had her big moments uh, in that run, those last three rounds, to help deliver state championship back to Skyview. You know, we talk about all the time, it's not, especially in sports, it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. You know, and Skyview goes in as the four seed, right? Well, the fourth seed out of their own region, for heaven's sakes. And they get into the state tournament and they make an absolute run and knock off big teams, including uh, one of our picks to win the state championship on their route to go beat another region foe uh, in Logan. And, and at times, it's not about who believes in you if you believe in yourself and if your teammates will believe in you. And that's certainly uh, the story of the 2021 4A state championship Skyview Bobcats uh, in a spectacular fashion as well. And thank Hannah for joining us. And uh, and hopefully everyone in Bobcat Nation knows that everything I say is said in jest, maybe, but a lot of fun too. But uh, congratulations to Skyview. Thank you, Hannah, for joining us. For Vince Francis, Hannah Radford, and Dane Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us and watching Game Night Live Rewind.